What is up guys, Carter Jenko here from the Tackle Rat and today I got some exciting new products from Berkeley. Let's get started. Alrighty folks, so today I'm gonna be doing a little review on a couple new shapes from Berkeley. If you guys have been following tackle trends uh, recently through this past year, you guys know that Maxent has been a big deal, especially for you guys up north fishing for smallmouth. Uh, Maxent has been dominating all the events up north, um, St. Lawrence, Champlain, Oneida, any of those kind of places where you got that clear water, big smallmouth, this Maxent has been the deal. Very hard to find uh, in a lot of different places and big shout out to Berkeley for hooking me up with some of these new products. So we got three different shapes that I'm gonna be talking about today. But first, I wanna talk a little bit about the Maxent. Uh, and in my opinion, why I think this is, you know, so much more dominant over other soft plastics. So first uh, is gonna be the action. So it's made of a very soft plastic. When you're fishing for those smallmouth, they're very picky and having a softer plastic is gonna allow for a more natural movement in the water and especially when you're in clear water, combining that with those, those finicky smallmouth, uh, having that softer plastic is very key in getting just those couple extra bites. And then along with that is the Maxent. So the Maxent is impregnated into the baits. Uh, it's not like some other baits where you'll have the scent or salt on the outside. This is literally uh, you know, like cooked into these baits. You know, I've been throwing the flatworms uh, a lot when we were up in Champlain, and I ha I've had them out of the bag for several days, and they still have that same scent as if they were have been in the bag. Uh, so they don't lose their scent at all, and that's very crucial. It gives you a lot more durability throughout the day. Uh, you don't have to go through as many baits, um, and you don't have to add any scent to these baits, which is great. Uh, but Getting into the shapes, so the first one, uh, you guys all know about the flatworm, comes in the three and three quarters uh, size. And they just came out with a bigger size. This is a four and a quarter inch. Uh, so it's a little bit bigger profile and something uh, that I've run into with those regular size flatworms, you've gotta burn through a ton of smaller fish. And you know, on those smallmouth events, yeah. you're not looking for keepers the weights are very stacked you know you have to have these higher quality fish and not having to weed through 50 60 8 inches a day uh, you know is is very important it's gonna save you a lot of time and that is why I think this new four and a quarter inch flatworm is gonna be so key it's gonna weed out a lot of those smaller fish and it's a little bit bigger profile you know a lot of the perch uh, goby and leeches that those smallmouth are feeding on are generally in that you know four to five inch range. So uh, bringing that bigger profile, uh, weeding out those smaller fish, I think is going to be a big key uh, with this with this new flatworm size that we got here. Uh, the color that I got right here is black, just straight black. So great leech imitation, you know. Uh, throwing it on a jig head or the back of a hair jig is get, probably gonna be the way I'm gonna rig this uh, as well as just throwing it straight on a drop shot. But next, uh, another bait that I'm super excited about is the Berkeley Lil General. So they do not have a Ned rig style bait uh, in their lineup and this is what they introduced this year at iCast uh, is their new uh, Lil General. So it's two and three quarter inches perfect size and it's a little bit bulkier than what you're gonna find on compared to you know your other soft plastics but it's made of a very soft plastic it's gonna have very uh, slight but natural movements the color I got right here is called gobiyashi actually an awesome gobi imitation so you guys are fishing the Great Lakes uh, or any of that stuff uh, where you have gobies present this is gonna be a great color and as you guys can see, it's got ribs. Uh, so what that's gonna do, it's going to move water. So, uh, you know, displacing water is is huge key uh, that many people may not know about, uh, especially in dirtier water. So you look at a lot of these flipping baits that you have on the market, they have ribs, 
they have appendages and what that's going to do it's going to displace water it's going to send out a vibration and those those bass with their lateral line are going to be able to track that bait through dirty dirty water and find that bait so adding those ribs on there uh, is just going to displace water help those fish locate and key in on these baits uh, as well as super soft plastic and that max scent uh, is going to be very key for fishing for smallmouth uh, which by the way I would like to mention the hook that I like to use on these so you know I've had I, I've been doing some searching for Nedrig heads uh, in Berkeley actually uh, I recently found out you know makes a pretty good net head it's called the half head jig head uh, as you guys can see here on the uh, package uh, that's that's what it looks like uh, it's got very it's very flush with with the bait so it's not going to intrude and make that bait look unnatural. It's got a good hook in it, and they're very affordable. Definitely check out that half-head jig head if you guys are looking for a new net head to try. Then the last shape we got here that I'm super stoked about is the Berkeley Lil Trooper. So it is another Ned Rig style bait. Uh, it's two and a half inches, and let me pull it out of the package here and show you guys. So we got a lot of different you know, small craw presentations on the market. But what I really love about uh, this bait right here, so it's two and a half inches, perfect for putting on a little net head on the back of a finesse jig. Uh, but take a look at the appendages here. They are very low profile. So you're not gonna have super huge claws or uh, super huge appendages on the side, which I personally like. Uh, the smaller craw profile baits are gonna be very important in clear water and in that clear water I really don't like having a you know these bigger appendages and these smaller ones are gonna pose less of a threat to those smallmouth or those largemouth uh, you know when they're picking up that bait you know it just presents a smaller profile and it's gonna look great I think on the back of a finesse jig a little finesse jig or a net head uh, another place I really like throwing this around my my area I got a ton of little creeks and rivers that I like to wade for smallmouth and throwing this on the net head I think is going to be a great option Because uh, a lot of those smaller crayfish are present and then another thing that I like to point out here is these two appendages on the top That's going to be great for covering that net head because you know a lot of times you got a black uh, or a green pumpkin net head doesn't exactly match the color of the bait So by putting these two little appendages on the top I think is gonna be great in uh, Covering that a little bit and making it a little bit more natural, but Great shape from Berkeley. That's a little in-depth review on these new shapes from Berkeley Definitely look out for them coming sometime this fall or winter gonna be in stock at your local tackle retailers like Bedford Sales uh, that we got right here in Morris, Illinois. Um, and then also check them out on Tackle Warehouse, uh, wherever you guys like to shop for your tackle. And thank you guys for watching another episode of the Tackle Wrap. Mm -hmm.